it going everyone back at you with another one uh, today we're going to talk about five tips and five items you should consider before you even become a truck driver um, this is kind of some basic stuff and some stuff to help you can help you decide if you even want to become a truck driver so all right we're going to dive into it so the first one it's in, in no particular order so first tip uh, make sure you can do your own laundry you would be surprised the number of students and stuff that come out here, people that come out here who have no clue on how to even wash their clothes. Um, mommy and daddy aren't here for you. Your trainer's not going to wash your clothes for you. There's not dry cleaners anywhere close to any truck stops or anything like that. So have got to learn how to wash it. Also with that, don't be bringing fancy clothes out here. Because when it boils down to is... To do a load of wash at the truck stops is three dollars just for the washing machine and then it's three dollars for the dryer so you're spending six bucks to do one load of laundry so bring clothes that you don't mind throwing your pants shirts underwear socks all everything all in one load there's gonna be you're not gonna have the time to separate everything into individual loads or anything like that throw it all in one load get it done because that you're talking 45 minutes for a wash and I think the dryer is about an hour so you're looking at almost close to two hours to do a one load of laundry so keep that in mind all right tip number two make sure you want to drive so if you live in a major city and you never driven a car all that much you take public transportation or you live and it's kind of a bigger town but the furthest you drive is maybe 20 25 minutes and you've never driven through major cities or anything like that best tip I can give you on that is hop in your car go five hours in one direction stop for about 45 minutes come back to five hours if you can't handle that trip you're not going to be able to handle be a truck driver we can we can drive with hours of service up to 11 hours a day not every day you're going to do that, but that's going to kind of give you the feel of what it's kind of like to be, behind, to be stuck behind the wheel driving for an extended period of time. Make sure you can handle it. You would not believe the number of people who 30 minutes into driving, they're falling asleep behind the wheel. It's completely unsafe. Don't need that out here. So make sure you can handle driving for extended periods of time. All right, tip number three, make sure you can stand to be away from your significant other and family for an extended period of time. Because um, you got to realize when you come out here for a training, if you go that route, you are going to be at least two months before you can probably can get your first home time. And once you get into your, your own truck and running solo or whatever company you go to, how they have it set up you maybe once a month you're going to be getting home if you're lucky more than likely it's going to be once every two months you'll be getting home for some either three or four days and that's it so if you don't have that support back home especially if you're married or dating and you can't trust them to be by themselves for that long and or they can't trust you to be by yourself for that long it's not going to last. The relationship's going to go downhill quick. Trust me, it's the truck. The divorce rate in trucking is freaking sky high. You got to have that trust. Now, if you just want to go around and have a girlfriend in every state, hey, that's up to you. But I'm just saying you need to be able to handle being by yourself and not having and reliant on that significant other to be constantly there, having the the close intimate like you do now it's it changes your whole mentality about here being a truck driver so keep that in mind tip number four and it's kind of sad I gotta bring this up but it's check your ego at the door and with that it's I'm gonna go deep into it here for a second um just because your brothers your uncle your second cousins was a truck driver and you think you know everything and you're going into trucking school. Bite your tongue. Do what you need to do. Get your CDL. And then once you get your CDL and out on your own, do whatever the hell you want to do. 
Now, there are boundaries that trainers can't cross. Now, with that, you are going to butt heads with your trainer. You're living in this tiny ass space for an extended period of time. No matter what, you can be the best of friends. You're going to keep walk on each other's nerves. It just happens. If you're not adult enough to get over it and just like, hey, I need an hour or so, or just go like, hey, I'm going to bed, sleep on it, start a new day, start over. But also with that, out here at shippers, receivers, truck stops, and all that, um, racism is alive and well. No matter what, it's never going to change. Sexism is alive and well. Sizeism, it's you'll see it in the comments that people are going to pick on you no matter what you are and hate on you for just for the stupidest reason I mean it's it sucks but if you can't put on your big boy pants or your big girl pants and do what you need to do to prove these people wrong that you can do your job better than them then you gotta be able to you gotta check that ego at the door because if you're always constantly out here fighting and all that you're not going to last it's not worth the headache. It's not worth the stress. So keep that in mind. As I said, it kind of sucks that part of it's out here. That will tell you in your training programs what to do, certain situations, stuff like that. If your trainer's being going over the line with racism, sexist shit, it's, there's a, they will go over what you got to do. Um, if you can't talk with the first thing I would say is always talk with them and say, hey, I didn't appreciate that. Um, please don't do that again. I think that crossed the line. If they're not adult enough to change their ways while you and kind of meet a middle ground. That's what this country needs is we need to find a freaking middle ground and just work together to get you trained and you and off on your own. So told all my students I'm not here to be your best friend I'm here to train you there's gonna be times you hate me even at the end of it you may hate me still when you get off my truck I don't care I'm not here to make friends I'm here to train you so keep that in mind all right tip number five um, make sure trucking companies are going to your area I know I mean I know it sounds a little stupid but Go on and find your local truck stops and see who's parked there. If, like you see over my shoulder, there's a whole bunch of land stars and stuff over there. You know it's going to be easier to get home. You know we're going to get hired in the company because they go in that area. Some companies do not service certain areas, so keep that in mind. So just go to your local truck stops. I would say between 6 and 8. Park up front and just do a quick lap and walk around the truck stop. And see who's parked in there. That way you know at least that carrier goes into that area. Even with Prime, RST, and all that, Knight, Swift, there's certain areas they don't cover. But then there's certain areas where they're super saturated and they're looking for people. So keep that in mind. So that way if you're going to apply to a company and they're like, oh, well, we don't even service that area. So it helps you eliminate that in your choices. All right, so that was about five brief tips for you guys on some stuff to think about before you even consider coming truck driving. I'm going to go into more in the depth of stuff of not believing YouTubers and stuff like that and what to do on for the next step. This is just kind of the beginning introduction. So next step, next video covering this kind of topic is literally going to be like, all right, now I really want to go into trucking. What do I what do I want to where do I go from here? So I'm going to help you to help go through how to find a company or the paths you can take to get your CDL. So that's what the next video is going to cover. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, give me a good old thumbs up. Appreciate the support and we'll talk to you next time. Hey, oh, hey.